So this is my friend Steve. Who's up there today? Yes, it's very Steve. <laughs> <laughs> who, who spends a lot of time out in India. And Steve's question to me the other day was, why does aloo gobi, which is cauliflower and potato curry, taste so much better in India than it does here? And so myself and Mummy were on the phone for an hour talking about cauliflowers, trying to unearth the answer to this. And I think we may have sussed it. Mm. So I thought what we might do today is do a test run of two types of cauliflower. Perhaps if I cook it first, show you okay. how to do it, yep. and then you replicate it as though you're in your own home, and I'll see how you do. Great. And then we do a blind taste test, what do you think? Yeah. Okay, good idea. Sounds good. So the theory so, that we have, Steve, distills down to this, that the older the cauliflower, the tastier the cauliflower. So this morning I bought two cauliflowers, one fresh and crisp and white, right. the kind of cauliflower that we of the supermarket generation think is a good cauliflower. Mm -hmm. And I also found buried under them all this kind of rubbery, yellow, slightly anhydrous cauliflower, which I think, according to my theory, will taste better. So that's what I wouldn't mind doing a taste test on. In India, what tends to happen is the cauliflower is a hot country, they're in market for the morning until they're purchased, and so there's a huge rate of evaporation of the waters from the cauliflower. With the cauliflowers that have lost a bit of the water, it's almost as though I think that the flavours intensify. So the salts and the sugars within the cauliflower become stronger, the flavours are more intense. When you cook it, so for instance, when you cook the new cauliflower, it's retained all its water, so when it's uh, applied to the spices and the sauce, it kind of takes the spices in, dissolves the flavours down and remains a bit sort of flaccid and it can remain a bit tasteless. With the older cauliflowers, or the Indian cauliflowers, that have lost a bit of their water and then that kind of rubby, rubbery, almost obedient texture, um, they react very differently to the spices. They, they listen to what they're being told by the spices, they don't dilute things down mm -hmm. and the flavours are a lot more intense. So this is the theory. So if we go on to chopping it, if I chop perhaps the old one, you chop the new one. Okay. okay, chopping board knife. <coughs> uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to get your ingredients. There is your old ca uh, cauliflower. Yes. And potatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, just chop potatoes, chop small. So the pan is heating away. <laughs> right. I'm going to turn it onto medium. Where do we start? We're making alagobi. Where do we start? With the oil. With oil, okay. So. I put it in. Oh, brilliant. Just a, a small splash, yeah? A good splash. Like Enough, that? yeah, just a little bit more, so it's so almost more. covering the base of the pan. That's it. There's okay. no depth to it, but it's okay. just the breadth of it, yeah? Okay, next, what happens? Uh, this. Exactly. Yeah. Right. What is it? Uh, it's a seed. Yes. And it's cumin. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's cumin seed. Yeah, what's that going to do to, to, the, to the curry? Uh, it's going to give it its base notes. It is, yeah, <laughs> I like that. It's going to give it its main flavour. Main flavour, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll put that in. in. Yeah, yeah. Like about two teaspoons or yeah. what? Yeah, put yeah. about, yeah. Two of these. Two of those, perfect. Two of these. Just three in. Right? Exactly. Like that. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Uh, we're waiting for this to, uh, to, you know, make some noise and to almost cook in about a minute or so. 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Yeah, like get your spoon. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. Noises. Okay. So, uh, so do I, do you I stir tell it? me. Do I stir it? Yeah. I do. Well, you don't no. have to actually because they're dancing away okay. and they will dance their way around that oil. They don't need any additional any movement. Help. So, yeah. Okay. So, it's as soon as they begin to go brown. Brownish, yeah. Yeah, that we go in with our next spice, which is. Uh, it's going to be the chili. Exactly. So you get that? Yeah. yeah, because that, when it hits the oil directly, okay. gives okay. off a beautiful, warm flavour. Should I do it now? Or yeah, how much yeah. would you like? Do you want this a hot curry or a mild curry? Me medium, medium. Medium, exactly. Yeah, but, oh, okay. but a lot less than that. A lot less than a that. A lot less Ooh. than that. Ooh. Only because there's, it's not a huge amount of cauliflower. How about that? Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's yeah. okay. Straight okay. in. Brilliant. Okay. That's a lot of chilli. Is that a lot? <laughs> yeah. Swirl it around. I'm swirling it? Not necessarily. No, what, with, what, with how, the how, how do we feel about using the handle? Excellent. Is that right? Lovely. Yeah, I could turn the heat up a bit. Okay. Okay. It smells Lovely. good. Is it smelling good? Yeah. Brilliant. So what, where, where are we going to go next? Let's think. Uh, I think then it's going to be the potato because yeah. that has, needs more time to cook. That's brilliant. Okay. I'm, very okay. I'm just cutting this a bit smaller for you. So you tell me when you think we need to go in with that potato. 
Oh, well. Because um... <laughs> this is the whole point, is it? It, it, it would be as though you're doing this at home without this. Okay, without okay, it, so. okay. Um, <clears throat> I would think pretty soon, because things are starting to happen out here and before it starts to you know, get too hot. Yeah. Maybe in about uh, you know, five or ten seconds or so. Okay, brilliant. There's your okay. potato. Yeah. Put it all in, just one go. Um, stick it all in one go, yeah. yeah. Right, so I guess my question is, Alicia, how, how do you know when you're really done before you start putting in the cauliflower? How do you know when to put the cauliflower in? Yeah. You, you want to just take the edge off them. Okay. So because they need a head start of about, about five, eight minutes, that kind of thing. So you just need them to begin to turn slightly translucent, which they have done. They've begin to be, begun to go a little bit brown on the edges. You're ready for your colour. Yeah, and yeah. I should mix it all up, yeah? Yeah. So I'm trying to coat the cauliflower a little bit in the exactly. oil, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. And then there comes a point, well there's nothing more you can do, yeah? yeah? And we're probably about there yet. This okay. is the point at which we've got to encourage that water out of the colic. Yes. So, we're looking for a lid, which what is here, it? cooking on my cauliflower, yeah? Okay. So, just before we cover it, what do you think about putting the turmeric in? Okay, should I do that? Yeah, do you want it? Yeah. Because yeah. The potatoes release a little bit of water. It's just as long as the turmeric isn't going directly into the hot oil at the front and at the bottom. A small one of these. Small. Yeah, what do you reckon? Maybe a couple. Yeah, a couple. Just scatter them. Like yeah, that. yeah. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Give it a stir. See, see, see if we can stir that in a bit. Yeah. Only so much you can do. It's all yeah, it's quite lumpy, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Smells good. Does it, yeah? Yeah. You're getting that turmeric, that kind of earthy smell. That's great. Really? Well. Okay, so we're at the stage where... Can you leave it? We have to be patient now. Okay. So, lid on. Okay. Low heat. Lid yes. on, low heat, lid on, low heat. Right. Okay, so Steve, let's check it. We're at about seven, eight, nine minutes cooking now. You lift the lid and it is so disheartening because it looks as though nothing's happened in the pan. It looks as though you're beginning to scold the whole dish. Um, the turmeric is where you left it when we you know, put it in 10 minutes ago. The collie looks as though it's just sitting there in a bad mood, not willing to give any of its water out. And the temptation at this stage is to add your own water yeah. to lubricate the dish. It's a killer in my view and in my mother's view. <laughs> To add water to a cot alu gobi is to kill the flavours. Do not do it. You have to hold your nerve. Okay. This, I think, is one of the most difficult dishes, in a way, emotionally, in the Indian kitchen. It's only, you saw it, it's only three spices. It's just alu, uh, potato and cauliflower. But you, at this point, just think, what, I need a rescue package here. And you don't. What you need to do is persevere. Leave the lid on. Low heat. It's a 25 minute okay. So now I should put in a, a little salt. bit of salt. Yeah. Salt to taste. There's salt. <coughs> yeah. Now just, a no, just, just a couple of. Yeah. What? To, 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 I eat a lot of salt. It's very yeah. good. So whatever you. Whatever That's you sort of like salt. quite a bit, isn't it already? Well. Yeah. yeah. A bit more. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah. a bit of a toddler's for me. Okay. You know, I, well, can I can I just go with that? So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I should stir this up. And then some a little bit of sugar. Yeah, only, only because you've got to think about what you want, how you want this to taste, and you want to bring out a bit more of the natural sweetness of the collie and the, and the potato. Okay, just a bit. And I think sugar does that. Like that? Yeah. How about that? Lovely. So we put the sugar in, we put the salt in, it looks as though it's not doing anything, we put the lid. Lid back on? Back on, really low heat, and, and let's sit this out. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just, okay, yeah. here we go. Yeah. Two cauliflower yeah. dishes. Ooh! Okay. Right. Well, well, you can you know which is which. Is which. Okay. Lovely. Right. Taste of cauliflower. Yes. And let's have a little vote on which one we think is tastiest. So, right. Yeah. I think I prefer this one. Me too. I prefer yeah. that one. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. Yes. Which one are you going for? If I had to vote? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm staying with mine. <laughs> okay, oh, so well, this was the old Polly. Oh, the old and all the ladies prefer the old Polly. Wow. That's because we're refined. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a better palette.
honest. I thought that is the case that I'm about to put on that. It's a new one. That's weird. I would have said that. That is weird. And this would be my word. Okay.